The rate of popularity of series increases every year, and the viewer does not want to part with his favorite characters. Therefore, series are becoming more and more ambitious and dynamic. Today is absolutely no surprise that on the big screen is a series, which can gather at the screens a few million people. In recent years, in this area there has been clear progress. TV series are now, first and foremost, a reflection of our lives. It is an opportunity not to leave home to get those emotions that everyone needs. These are fascinating stories, told to the smallest detail. Such stories are waiting with great trepidation, and they always gather a mass of viewers around them. As in this case. After all, every connoisseur of such series finds something just for himself. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see a new episode on January 6th. This day can immediately be circled with a red marker on the calendar. The upcoming episode can impress not only with a great cast, but also with an interesting storyline that will be completely consistent with the characters and images of the characters. If you would like to watch something exciting and interesting, then this series is exactly what you need. And now, while we wait for the new episode, I offer you a brief review of other interesting series. Silicon Valley is an American comedy television series. The series, a parody of Silicon Valley culture, focuses on Richard Hendricks, a programmer who founds a startup company called Pi Piper, and chronicles his struggles trying to maintain his company while facing competition from larger entities. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its airing, with praise for its writing and humor. The show has been nominated for numerous accolades, including five consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Comedy Series. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Richard Hendricks is a low-level programmer with futuristic internet giant Huoli. He is often taunted by his more successful work colleagues, and his ideas are dismissed by egotistical entrepreneur Ehrlich Bachmann, who owns the tech development incubator where Richard lives with fellow programmers Nelson Bigetti, Bertram Gilfoyle and Dinesh Chugtai. However when Huoli stumbles upon the music copyright service that Richard is working on, entitled Pied Piper, they discover that hidden within the useless application is the best file compression algorithm in the world, and news spreads quickly. Eventually Richard is caught between a $10 million buyout by Huoli CEO Gavin Belson, and a $200,000 investment from eccentric billionaire Peter Gregory, he must decide whether to give up his program to the highest bidder, or to take the investment and create a business out of it himself. After having a panic attack and vomiting, Richard runs into Peter's assistant Monica, who tells him that she believes in him and his idea. Richard decides to take the investment, and run the business himself. Co-creator and executive producer Mike Judge had worked in a Silicon Valley startup early in his career. In 1987, he was a programmer at Parallax, a company with about 40 employees. Judge disliked the company's culture and his colleagues and quit after less than three months, but the experience gave him the background to later create a show about the region's people and companies. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its premiere. In January 2017, in an audience interaction by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, Gates recounted the episode in Silicon Valley in which the protagonists try to pitch their product to various venture capitalists, saying it reminded him of his own experiences. The Sopranos is an American crime drama television series created by David Chase. The story revolves around Tony Soprano, a New Jersey-based Italian-American mobster, portraying the difficulties that he faces as he tries to balance his family life with his role as the leader of a criminal organization. Tony Soprano has a panic attack that prompts him to see a psychiatrist. The pilot was ordered in 1997, and the show premiered on HBO on January 10, 1999. The series ran for six seasons totaling 86 episodes until June 10, 2007. The Sopranos is widely regarded as one of the greatest television series of all time. It has been the subject of critical analysis, controversy, and parody, and has spawned books, a video game, soundtrack albums, podcasts and assorted merchandise. Several members of the show's cast and crew were largely unknown to the public but have since had successful careers. Since its inception in 1999, the series has become a cultural phenomenon, gaining wide popularity and critical acclaim. This was due to the innovative approach to the description of the life of the mafia, the American family, the problems of the Italian-American community in the United States and the boundaries of what society considers morality. 
The first episode was very exciting. At a family picnic, Tony collapses. In the hospital, during the examination, it turns out that this is not a physiological deviation, but a psychological one. On the recommendation of his doctor neighbor, Bruce Cusimano, Anthony goes to see psychiatrist Jennifer Melfi. Tony cannot tell all the details of his life due to the fact that his story is connected with crime. Moreover, Dr. Melfi immediately warned him that if she learns anything about even a possible harm to a person, she is legally obliged to report this data to the police. In the process of therapy, some details of Anthony's life are revealed, his attitude to life, to the family, to children and to his mother, which makes him very nervous, because no matter what he does, no matter how he behaves, his mother Livia always remains dissatisfied with him. Tony carefully hides the fact of visiting a psychotherapist from his friends. Breaking Bad is an American neo-western crime drama television series created and produced by Vince Gilligan. The series stars Brian Cranston as Walter White and Aaron Paul as his accomplice Jesse Pinkman. It was set and filmed in New Mexico, and tells the story of Walter White, an underpaid, overqualified, and dispirited high school chemistry teacher who is struggling with a recent diagnosis of stage 3 lung cancer. Walter turns to a life of crime, partnering with his former student Jesse Pinkman. Since its conclusion, the show has been lauded by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. As the series progressed, Gilligan and the writing staff of Breaking Bad made Walter increasingly unsympathetic. Before completing the script, Gilligan revealed that it was difficult to develop the character of Walter White because the character was getting darker and more morally conflicted. Writing music for each episode takes about a week. Each episode's soundtrack was typically led by meetings between the composer, music supervisor, and music editor with Vince Gilligan and the key people involved in the episode's creation. They discussed where the music should be and where not. The first season received numerous awards and nominations, including four Primetime Emmy Award nominations with two wins. Brian Cranston won for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series and Lynn Willingham won for Outstanding Single Camera Picture Editing for a Drama Series. The first season of the series, starting with the pilot episode, introduces the viewer to the life of Walter White, a 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher from the city of Albuquerque. In addition to teaching, he is forced to work part-time at a car wash to support his pregnant wife and disabled son. However, Walter has to rethink his usual lifestyle when he is diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer. Constant Love is a Turkish romantic television series. The plot proved interesting to many viewers. Rayyan is Nesu Sadoglu's granddaughter, patriarch of the prominent Sadoglu family in the town of Midya. However, she has never felt loved by anyone in her household except her father, Hazar, her mother, Zara, and her younger sister, Gul. Rayyan has been mistreated by her grandfather since childhood because she is not his biological granddaughter, and the only reason he accepted her into the family was at Hazar's request. One morning, Rayen goes out on horseback to watch the sunrise. On her way back, her horse is nearly hit by a car. Rayen falls and loses consciousness. The driver of the car, a handsome young man named Miran, is immediately attracted to her and offers to drive her back home. Yaren, daughter of Hazar's brother, Chihan, is infatuated with Miran. When Miran falls in love with her cousin, Yaren swears revenge on Rayen for stealing Miran from her and ruining her life. Eventually, Miran and Rayen are married. However, Miran abandons Rayen after their first night as husband and wife, sparking intense feelings of betrayal and hatred in Rayen. She vows to never let him forget what he has done to her. Soon, Rayen finds out that everything Miran has told her about himself is a lie, his name, his background, his family, and the wedding. Miran's plan all along was to gain the trust of the Sadagla family, marry their innocent daughter and then leave her the morning after, humiliating the entire family and thus, exacting the first part of his revenge against the Sadaglas. The Clone is a Brazilian drama telenovela created by Gloria Perez and directed by Jamie Monjardim. It was aired from October 1, 2001 to June 15, 2002, with 221 episodes. It also was an international success, selling in more than 90 countries. In the early 1980s, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 
Giovanna Antonelli as Jade, a young girl, is orphaned and has to go to Morocco where her uncle Ali lives. Thus, once she arrives in Morocco, she must learn all concomitant new traditions and customs, adjust to her new way of living, and face all the punishments she will be exposed to because of her conflicting personality in actions that go against her religion. Back in Rio, a well-off family, the Faraz, go to vacation in Morocco. Twin brothers Lucas and Diogo Faraz, along with Leonidas, their father, and Dr. Augusto Albiri, friend of the family and the twins' godfather who is a genetic scientist, visit Ali, a friend of Albiri's. There, Lucas and Jade meet for the first time, and they fall in love at first sight. The clone aired in Brazil comprising 221 episodes, of variable duration. However, when syndicated and sold to other countries the telenovela got the number of episodes enlarged to 250 and the duration fixed at 45 minutes. The clone was a big hit, being aired in several countries all around the world. It was dubbed in several languages. The part of the telenovela dealing with Islamic customs and attitudes mixes traditions from diverse countries, rather than those of Morocco alone, and has been criticized for its inaccurate representation of these traditions, according to Barbosa. These criticisms include the portrayal of polygamy as commonly accepted in Morocco, women as rarely working outside the home or pursuing an advanced education, and women having only unimportant roles within the family. In January 2010, a remake in Spanish started to be recorded in Colombia. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television program broadcast by the BBC since 1963. The program depicts the adventures of a Time Lord called the Doctor, an extraterrestrial being who appears to be human. The Doctor explores the universe in a time-traveling spaceship called the TARDIS. The TARDIS exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. With various companions, the Doctor combats foes, works to save civilizations, and helps people in need. Beginning with William Hartnell, 13 actors have headlined the series as the Doctor. In 2017, Jodie Whittaker became the first woman to officially play the role on television. The transition from one actor to another is written into the plot of the show with the concept of regeneration into a new incarnation, a plot device in which a Time Lord transforms into a new body when the current one is too badly harmed to heal normally. Each actor's portrayal is unique, but all represent stages in the life of the same character, and together, they form a single lifetime with a single narrative. The time-traveling feature of the plot means that different incarnations of the Doctor occasionally meet. The program was originally intended to appeal to a family audience as an educational program using time travel as a means to explore scientific ideas and famous moments in history. The show is a significant part of British popular culture, and elsewhere, it has gained a cult following. It has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom grew up watching the series. The program is listed in Guinness World Records as the longest-running science fiction television show in the world, as well as the most successful science fiction series of all time. The program originally ran from 1963 to 1989. There was an unsuccessful attempt to revive regular production in 1996 with a backdoor pilot in the form of a television film titled Doctor Who. The program was relaunched in 2005 and since then, has been produced in-house by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Miracle Workers is an American anthology comedy television series created by Simon Rich. It is based on Rich's writings, with each season being based on a different work. Miracle Workers premiered on February 12, 2019, with its seven-episode first season. The first season follows Craig, a low-level angel responsible for handling all of humanity's prayers, and Eliza, a recent transfer from the Department of Dirt. Their boss, God, has pretty much checked out to focus on his favorite hobbies. To prevent Earth's destruction, Craig and Eliza must achieve their most impossible miracle to date. Alongside the initial series order announcement, it was confirmed that Daniel Radcliffe and Owen Wilson would star in the series. Simon Rich back when he wrote the book had high hopes that someday it would be filmed, but no one seriously believed that anyone would be able to recreate such a huge world on the screen. Daniel Radcliffe was a fan of the books even before the adaptation and was one of the first to join the cast of the series. At the same time, Simon greatly admired Daniel as an actor. 
Radcliffe is also an excellent producer, he helped the project in every way and took a lot of different creative decisions, from finding designers to the choice of the cast. In the early stages of script development, Owen Wilson was in the cast. But after the actor saw the final drafts of the script, his opinion disagreed with the screenwriters about his character. So he was replaced by Steve Buscemi. The idea of the creators was that God was flawed and vulnerable, just like the people he created. They wanted to see a character who is sometimes reckless and irrational. That's the kind of God Steve would play. House is an American medical drama television series. The series' main character is Dr. Gregory House, an unconventional, misanthropic medical genius who leads a team of diagnosticians at the fictional Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital in New Jersey. The series' premise originated with Paul Atanasio, while David Shore, who is credited as creator, was primarily responsible for the conception of the title character. House often clashes with his fellow physicians, including his own diagnostic team, because many of his hypotheses about patients' illnesses are based on subtle or controversial insights. His flouting of hospital rules and procedures frequently leads him into conflict with his boss, hospital administrator and dean of medicine Dr. Lisa Cuddy. House was among the top 10 series in the United States from its second season through the fourth season. Distributed to 66 countries, House was the most-watched television program in the world in 2008. The show received numerous awards, including five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, a Peabody Award, and nine People's Choice Awards. On 2012 Fox announced that the eighth season, then in progress, would be its last. The series is structured around a central plot with some supporting secondary stories and narratives that cross over seasons. Most episodes revolve around the diagnosis of a primary patient and start with a cold open set outside the hospital, showing events ending with the onset of the patient's symptoms. The typical episode follows the team in their attempts to diagnose and treat the patient's illness, which often fail until the patient's condition is critical. They usually treat only patients whom other doctors have not accurately diagnosed, and House routinely rejects cases he does not find interesting. Lost is an American drama television series that aired on ABC from 2004 to 2010, over six seasons, comprising a total of 121 episodes. The show contains elements of supernatural and science fiction, and follows the survivors of a commercial jet airliner flying between Sydney and Los Angeles, after the plane crashes on a mysterious island somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. The story is told in a heavily serialized manner. Episodes typically feature a primary storyline set on the island, augmented by flashback or flash-forward sequences which provide additional insight into the involved characters. Developed as a television adaptation of the 2000 Tom Hanks film Cast Away, Lost was created by Jeffrey Lieber, J. J. Abrams, and Damon Lindelof, who share story writing credits for the pilot episode, which Abrams directed. Throughout the show's run, Lindelof and Carlton Cuse served as showrunners and head writers, working together with many other executive producers and writers. Due to its large ensemble cast and the cost of filming primarily on location in Oahu, Hawaii, the series was one of the most expensive on television, with the pilot alone costing over $14 million. Lost has regularly been ranked by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. The first season had an estimated average of 16 million viewers per episode on ABC. During its sixth and final season, the show averaged over 11 million US viewers per episode. Lost was the recipient of hundreds of industry award nominations throughout its run and won numerous of these awards, including the Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series in 2005. The plot of the first episode of the first season turned out to be very interesting. Oceanic Airlines Flight 815, a commercial airliner flying from Sydney to Los Angeles, hits turbulence and breaks apart in mid-air and crashes on a deserted tropical island in the South Pacific, with 48 survivors of the initial crash. Mysterious roars are heard from the jungle and trees are found knocked over. Jack, Kate and Charlie set out into the jungle to find the cockpit of the airplane so they can send out a distress signal using the plane's transceiver. They also find the pilot, who survived the crash and informs them that the plane had been steered more than a thousand miles off course before it crashed, and thus any rescuers would be looking in the wrong place.
American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics. Yellowstone is an American drama television series created by Taylor Sheridan and John Linson that premiered on June 20, 2018, on Paramount Network. In 2013, Taylor Sheridan began work on the series, having recently grown tired of acting and begun writing screenplays. On May 3, 2017, Paramount Network announced that it had greenlit its first scripted series, Yellowstone. Paramount issued a series order for a first season consisting of 10 episodes. The series stars Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Cole Hauser, and Gil Birmingham. The series follows the conflicts along the shared borders of a large cattle ranch, an Indian reservation, and land developers. The series follows the Dutton family, owners of the largest ranch in Montana, the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, commonly called the Yellowstone. The plot revolves around family drama at the ranch and the bordering Broken Rock Indian Reservation, National Park, and developers. The territory of the Yellowstone Ranch is a tidbit for the neighbors. But John Dutton, thanks to his sons Lee and Jamie and manager Rip Wheeler, deflects all attacks. John's middle son, Casey, lives on the reservation with his wife and son, rides wild horses, and does not want to communicate with his father. But the new head of this Indian reservation, Thomas Rainwater, is looking for an excuse to start a confrontation with John in order to weaken him and then buy back his land. To do this, he enlists all the disgruntled and ambitious politicians in Montana, and also takes a closer look at Casey. The same territory is claimed by millionaire real estate developer Dan Jenkins, who wants to build a huge luxury block next to the ranch. Broad Sick is a British comedy drama television series which premiered on Sky One on August 22, 2019 and became Sky's most successful comedy in seven years. The series follows the lives of Vinnie O'Neill and his friends in the fictional town of Holly. The first series consists of six episodes, which concluded on September 19, 2019, receiving positive reviews. Bras Sick follows the lives of Vinny and his five friends as they live their lives in the fictional northern English town of Holly. The working class group commit various crimes to keep money in their pockets, but as they get older some of them wonder if there's more to life away from the town. Lucy Mangan of The Guardian, reviewing the series, gave it four out of five stars, saying, it is a hilarious, warm, brutal melange that works because it has heart without sentimentality and authenticity without strain. Creator and lead actor Joseph Gilgan has been praised for his performance as Vinny O'Neill, with review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes commenting, Joseph Gilgan is wonderfully expressive as Vinny, his volatile features continually scrunching together and apart like the top of a drawstring bag. Forever is an American fantasy crime drama television series that aired on ABC. Created by Matt Miller, it centers on the character of Dr. Henry Morgan, an immortal New York City medical examiner who uses his extensive knowledge to assist the New York City Police Department in solving crimes and to discover a way to end his immortality. 
Flashbacks within each episode reveal various details of Henry's life. The concept for Forever came from a conversation between series creator Matt Miller and his son about death. After the conversation, Miller began to imagine what life would be like if a person was immortal but everyone else, including that person's own children, were mortals. He created a character who viewed immortality as a curse because of the pain of seeing family and friends die and who would attempt to find a way to end his immortality. That concept informed Miller's decision to make his character a doctor-turned-medical examiner who used his occupation for research into his immortality. Another series-long story arc explored how other people learned of Henry's immortality. The first storyline in the arc was the season's second story arc, Henry's determination to learn the identity of a second immortal who knows about it. The second immortal character's morals would contrast his protagonist's morals, serving as an antagonist for the main character. Beginning with the pilot, Miller structured each episode by telling two stories in the episode. The first was a traditional procedural plotline. The second story was a flashback from Henry's past. 